Danielle Kerr was found guilty of the murder of William Stevenson. But I bet you're wondering who Bill Stevenson is. Well, on Christmas Day of 2013, Bill Stevenson was killed, but his partial remains wouldn't be discovered until January 2nd, 2014. He was found in the trunk of a burned car, and that would be discovered in the Wellsford Forest. Now, during the trial of Danielle Kerr and of her, you know, co-conspirator, co-conspirator Darren Lewis, uh, key pieces of evidence would be introduced to the court, such as finding a knife that was recovered from Lake Waruna, and that Danielle and Bill knew each other. Because, you know, she lived with him for periods of time during 2013. Also, during openings by the prosecution, they were straight up with why they were there. And that this was because Bill was killed near an isolated road outside of Kamaruka on Christmas Day of 2013. It is also public record that Miss Kerr would laugh on occasion during this trial because there was a movie called Kill Bill. And this was basically all of her disruptive outbursts during her trial. Now, the basis of this case is basically is told how Miss Kerr then bashed in Bill's head with a rock, then stabbed him with a hunting knife in the neck. But, but, she also stabbed him in the chest in the face. Also, at d some point during this fury attack, Bill tried to flee, but he was then chased down by a car and hit repeatedly with a branch by Danielle, and by Darren. After Bill was finally down, his body was then put in the trunk of the car and then driven to Wellsford Forest. It was then that they set the car on fire after being doused. There was also the fact that his remains were dispersed with a pitchfork afterwards in various areas and that Danielle wanted to have sex with Darren near the remains of Bill. Now, at first, Danielle said that she had no idea about the murder, and she instantly blamed Darren. She even went as far as saying that she was powerless against him. Oh no, poor me. Well, it was also public knowledge that she was regularly extremely high on meth during this period of time, and she was also very high on meth when she killed Bill. Yes. I guess the best part about this case is how Bill's family talked about how the world lost a good person. And they lost him because he got involved with the wrong person, and this person was addicted to methamphetamine. They also stated that meth needs to be off the street, and with it being off the street, others wouldn't have to go through the same trauma that they did for the rest of their life. Danielle was sentenced to 21 years in prison. Meanwhile, Darren was only sentenced to 10. What a sad way to kill Bill on Christmas. 